you like a little fairy queen? <laughs> but you're already in room. <laughs> you made me forget all our good news. Just imagine, Venla. Last night, the stork finally visited your sister. Brought her another little baby girl. Can't wait to see her, Mama. Well, put on a proper dress and take her hat. Mama, I'm an aunt for the second time now, and I still have no idea how it happens. Mama, please, uh, I'm ashamed to even ask. But then who can I ask but you? Fail a child, you cannot imagine that I could... You can't imagine that I still believe in the stork. I really don't know what I've done to deserve this kind of talk. And on a day like today, go, child, put your clothes on. And if I were to run out now and ask Gregor, our chimney sweep? Very well, I'll tell you everything. <laughs> but not today. Tomorrow or the day after. Today, Mama. Oh, then the Bergman, you, I simply cannot. Mama. Oh, you will drive me mad. I, I kneel at your feet, lay my head in your lap, you can talk as if I weren't even here. Please. Very well, I'll tell you. In order for a woman to conceive a child, you follow me? Yes, Mama. <laughs> for a woman to bear a child, she must... love her husband. Love him as she can love only him with her whole Nonis of Ira. Better, Hela Mamaya, continue her zirtness. Multa quoque et bello passus dum condoret urbe. Very low from the beginning. Arma verumque cano troiae qui primus avoris. A robo. And? Italian fato profugus lavinique wing. Her steeple. Her steeple, Continue, please. We need yes, litera multum Amy multum multum oli oli multum oli. So then, somehow, the pious Aeneas has already suffered much in the days still to come. 
Herr Stiefel. Do you have any idea what you're saying, Herr Stiefel? If you please. Pardon me? If you please, Herr Solomonstitch. Can't we at least consider multum olim as a plausible conjecture for how the text might read? Herr Gabor, we are hardly here today to conjecture about textual conjecture. The boy has made an error. Yes, but an understandable error, sir. Indeed, if we could only entertain the fitness of the conjecture. Multum olim? Look to the fresh rhetorical balance. Multum olim introducing multa bokwe. A parallel, sir, between what Aeneas has already suffered in war and those sufferings on land and sea just ahead. Herr Gabor, since the days of Servius, Aulus Galius, Claudius Donatus, nay, since the moment of Virgil's death, our world has been littered with more than sufficient critical conjecture on textual conjecture. With all respect, sir, are you then suggesting there is no further room for critical thought or interpretation? Why indeed then do we have? I am suggesting no such thing. I am confirming that Herr Stiefel has made an error. And I am asking, nay, demanding, that you emend his faulty text and proceed from there. Do I make myself clear? Herr Gabor. Herr Gabor, do I make myself clear? Yes, Herr Sonnenstitch. Litura multum ile. All of you, together with Melchior Gabor. Laviniaque, venit. Litura multum ile. Et teris iactatus et alto. We spero saiwai memor. Unonis autonomia. A mystery cycles overthrown. At school, at home, at blind men. is just another bad about you. All we say is trust in what is written. Wars are made and somehow that is wisdom. Thought is suspect and money is their idol. And nothing is okay unless it's scripted in their Bible. But I know there's so much more to find just in looking through myself and not at them. For everything I show You watch me Just watch me I'm calling And one day all will know You watch me Just watch me I'm calling I'm calling And one day all will know Thank you, gentlemen. Now, if you please, in feret que deos latio, the following seven lines of Pius Aeneas's journey from memory. Melky, thank you. It's nothing. Still, I'm sorry. You didn't need to. Take what Aeneas suffered. <laughs> but I should have known it. Multum ile. <laughs> it's just, I didn't sleep all night. In fact, I suffered a visit from the most horrific dark phantasm. <clears throat> you mean a dream? Nightmare, really. Legs in sky blue stockings, <laughs> climbing over the lecture podium. <gasps> That kind of dream. <laughs> have you ever suffered such mortifying vision? Of course. We all have. Otto Lonemeyer dreamt about his mother. Oh. Really? <laughs> <laughs> he 
Gabriel Simpson's dreamt he was seduced by Fräulein Rosa Bustenbaumer. <laughs> the piano teacher! What a steeple! I need hardly remind you that of all our pupils, you are in no position to be taking liberties. I will not warn you again! God, I dreamed there was an angel who could hear me through the wall As I cried out like in Latin, this is so not life at all Help me out, out of this nightmare, and I heard her silver call She said, just give it time, kid, I come to one and all She said, give me that hand, please, and the you can't control Let me teach you how to handle all the sadness in your soul Oh, we'll work that silver magic, then we'll aim it at the wall but I wouldn't mind at all It's a bitch of oh, living Bitch, just a bitch What's your name? Just a bitch, yeah Just a bitch of oh, living That's not what you can say Each night it's like fantastic Toss and turn and not rest With my babies at the piano With my teacher in her breast And the music's like the one thing I can eat and get it all The rest of it and Patroclos? <laughs> Melchior, Moritz, home to Bach. Fräulein Grosse Bustenhalter will not be kept waiting. Oh. <laughs> Melchi, 60 lines of Homer, all those quadratic equations. I'll be up all night, again, haunted by another of those dreams. And still, I won't get through it. Oh yes, your dream. Milky, why? Why am I haunted by the legs of a woman? By the deepening conviction some dark part of my destiny may lie there between them. <laughs> All right, then. I'll tell you. I got it out of books. But prepare yourself. It made an atheist out of me. <laughs> So, no, no, not here. So, I he can't talk it. No. Do me a favor. Write it down. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> to all of it. Conceal it in my satchel after gymnastics tomorrow. If you want, you could add some illustrations in the margin. <laughs> Top to bottom. Hmm. Everything. Unfathomable. Fräulein can put it. Hair come off and grow. <laughs> Look at that. Melchior Gabor, a young man of distinct intellectual capability. Thoroughly distinct. A young man who could be our finest pupil. Our finest hair cannot and brook. But there he is, polluting himself. Cavorting about with that, that neurasthenic imbecile Moritz Stiefel. <laughs> Thank heaven the upper grade only holds 60. And the bodice all in lace. Ooh. With the satin bow and back. Oh! And then love. What will you wear to Greta Brandenburg's wedding? Mama said we cannot go. To Greta's wedding? Because she's marrying that forest inspector. Mama felt it was a little improper. But they're decking the entire sanctuary in orchids and chrysanthemums. <laughs> mama said no. Oh. Well, I certainly hope your mama approves the man I marry and the man I marry. Well, we all know who Taya longs to marry. <laughs> Melchior Gabor. Uh, and who doesn't? He is rather handsome. So wonderful. But not so wonderful as that sad, soulful, sleepyhead Moritz Stiefel. <laughs> Moritz Stiefel? How can you even compare them? Melky Gabor, he's such a radical. <laughs> you know what the whisper is? He doesn't believe in anything. Not in God, not in heaven, not in a single thing in this world. Oh. Oh. They say he's the best in everything. Latin, Greek, trigonometry. The best part is, he doesn't care a whit about any of it. In the midst of this nothing, this mess of a life, still there's this one thing just to see you go by. It's almost like loving. Sad as that is, may not be cool, but it's so where I live. It's like I'm your lover, or more like your ghost. I spend the day wondering what you do, where you go. I try and just kick it, but then what can I do? We've all got our junk, and my junk is you. Some song. I'm not, 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 I
16 October. The question is, shame. What is its origin? And why are we hounded by its miserable shadow? Does the mare feel shame as she couples with a stallion? Are they deaf to everything their loins are telling them until we grant them a marriage certificate? I think not. To my mind, shame is nothing but a product of education. Meanwhile, old Father Kalbach still blindly insists in every single sermon that it's deeply rooted in our sinful human nature. Which is why I now refuse to go to church. Melchior! Yes, Mama? Moritz, people to see you. Moritz, sorry, I'm so late. I yanked on a jacket, ran a brush through my hair, and dashed like some phantom to get here. <laughs> you slept through the day? I'm exhausted, Melky. I was up till three in the morning, reading that essay you gave me till I couldn't see straight. Sit, let me roll you a smoke. Look at me. I'm trembling. Last night I prayed like Christ in Gethsemane. Please, God, give me consumption and take these sticky dreams away from me. With any luck, he'll ignore that prayer. Milky, I can't focus on anything. Even now, it seems like... Well, I see and hear and feel quite clearly. And yet everything seems so strange. But all those illustrations I gave you, didn't they help illuminate your dreams? They only multiplied everything ten times. Instead of merely seeing stockings, now I'm plagued by Labia Majora. <laughs> and the... Well, here we are with tea. Herr Stiegel, how are you? Very well, thank you, Frau Gabor. Yes? Just think, Mama. Moritz was up reading all through the night. Ah, uh, conjugating Greek. <laughs> you must take care of yourself, Moritz. Surely your health is more important than ancient Greek. Now, what have you been reading, Melchior? Goethe's Faust, actually. Really? At your age? It's so beautiful, Mama. So haunting. Uh, still, I should have thought. But surely you boys are now at an age to decide for yourselves what is good for you and what is not. Well, if you need anything else, children, call me. Well, your mother certainly is remarkable. <laughs> Until she catches her son reading Goethe. I think she meant the story of Gretchen and her illegitimate child. Yes. You see how obsessively everyone fixes on that story? It's as if the entire world were mesmerized by penis and vagina. Well, I am. <laughs> All the more so, I'm afraid, since reading your essay. What you wrote about the female, I can't stop thinking about it, this part. Here. Is it true? Absolutely. But how can you understand that, Melky? what the woman must feel? Giving yourself over to someone else? Defending yourself? Until finally you surrender and feel heaven break over you? I just put myself in her place. And imagine. Really? What it feels like for the woman?
You must admit, with the differing Genit Genit genitalia. Genitalia. It truly is daunting. I mean, how everything might measure up. <laughs> More, it's not that I'm saying I myself. Not that I'm saying I wouldn't want. Whatever wanted, not. Whatever not wanted. I have to go. Oh, Mort! Mort, wait! <laughs> Mort! Melchior, what is it? Nothing, Mama. Has Mort gone? Yes. Well, he does look awfully pale, don't you think? No wonder. That mouse really the best thing for him. Oh, oh. Together. You should have seen their faces, Melchior. How much we brighten their day. Actually, it's something I've been thinking a lot about. The day laborers? No. Our little acts of charity. What do you think, Venla? Can our Sunday school deeds really make a difference? They have to. Of course, what other hope do those people have? I don't know exactly. But I fear that industry is fast determining itself firmly against them. Against us all, then. Thank you, yes. It seems to me what serves each of us best is what serves all of us best. Indeed. Pendle Bergman, I've known you all these years and we've never truly talked. We have so few opportunities. Now that we're old. True. In a more progressive world, of course, we could all attend the same school, boys and girls together. What time is it? Must be close to four. I thought it was later. I paused and lay so long in the moss by the stream and just let myself dream. I thought it must be later. Then can't you sit for a moment? 
when you lean back against this oak and stare up at the clouds, you start to think hypnotic things. I have to get back before five. But when you lie here, such a strange, wonderful peace settles over you. For a moment, maybe. Just to unreal all this. Watching the words fall from my lips. Baiting some girl with hypotheses. Haven't you heard the word of your body? You 
may not cut it short, you may not wear it down. Tomorrow I'm bringing scissors. For God's sake, Emma, no. Papa beats me enough as it is. And I don't do as he likes. What? Some nights, Papa yanks out his belt. But where is your mama? We have rules in this house. Your father will not be disobeyed. The other night I ran for the door. Out the door. All right, I like that. That's where you'll spend the night. Out on the street! so cold. Oh my god. He beats you with a belt. Anything. With a buckle? Right there. Oh my god. Mark to the wilts. They're terrible. Oh, we must tell someone. I don't know. But we must. No, please. They throw me out for good. Like what happened to Ilsa, you mean. Remember. But still, I don't know. Just look what's become of Ilsa now. Living who knows where with who knows who. Just wish I could somehow go through it for you. My Uncle Klaus says, if you don't discipline a child, you don't love it. That must be. When I have children, I let them be free. And they'll grow strong and tall. Free? But how will we know what to do if our parents don't tell us?
27 November. The trouble is the terrible prerogative of the parentocracy in secondary education. Herr Stiefel, may we have a word with you? A world where teachers, like parents, view us as merely so much raw material for an obedient and productive society. A unified, military-like body where all that is weak must be hammered away. Where the progress of the students reflects back only on the rank and order of the faculty. And therefore, a single low mark can be seen as a threat to the... You. I was lying by the stream and then I saw you here. Yes? So. So, the stream. Dreaming again? I was, I guess. What were you dreaming of? It's silly. Tell me. I dreamed I was a clumsy little girl who spilt my mother's coffee. And when he saw what I'd done, he yanked out his belt and whipped me. Fenla, that kind of thing doesn't happen anymore. Only in stories. Marcia Vessel is beaten almost every evening. The next day, you can see the welts. It's terrible. Really, it makes you boiling hot to hear it out. Lately, I can't think about anything else. Someone should file a complaint. No. I've never been beaten. Not once. I can't even imagine it. It must be just awful. I don't believe anyone is ever better. I've tried hitting myself to find out how it feels. <coughs> really. Inside. With this switch, for example. <coughs> Tough and thin. It had draw blood. I mean, if you beat me with it. Beat you? Me. Kendall, what are you thinking? Nothing. I could never beat you. If I let you? Never. But if I asked you to? Have you lost your mind? I've never been beaten. My entire life I've never felt what? anything! Marta Vessel, she... Well, you can't envy someone being beaten! No. How can you even want a thing like that? Please, Melchior. Maybe not. With your dress on. On my legs, then. Ben. Come on. Please. <laughs> I'll teach you to sit, please. <laughs> You're barely stroking me. What's that? <gasps> Marcia's father uses his belt. He draws blood now. What's that?
fail. Not that I'm You're saying. You're telling me you failed. No, no, you I failed. Don't mean that. Haven't you? I see it in your face. But Tell me, son, what? How can she show her face at the missionary society? What do I tell them at the bank? How do we go to church? What do we say? My son failed! Failed! Thank God my father never lived to see this day. Dear Herr Stiefel, Moritz, I've spent the entire day thinking about your note. Truly, it touched me, it did, that you think of me as a friend. Of course, I was saddened to hear that your exams came off rather less well than you hoped, and that you will not be promoted from fall. And yet, I must say straight away that fleeing to America is hardly the solution. And even if it were, I cannot provide the money you request. my refusal any lack of affection. On the contrary, as Melchior's mother, I truly believe it to be my duty. The thing that sucks okay for me, a thousand bucks from like Scott Green, and I made the plea, that's all I need. You feel okay by now, you know the storm Should you like, I am ready to write your parents. I will try to convince them that no one could have worked harder last semester, and also that too rigorous a condemnation of your current misfortune. You wanna laugh? Letter disturbed me, your, what shall we call it, veiled threat that should escape not be possible, you would take your own life. Okay, so now we do the play, act like we don't care, no way, you'll write my books, well, okay, babe, that's how it goes. My dear boy, the world is filled with men, businessmen, scientists, scholars even, who have done rather poorly in school and yet gone on to brilliant careers. Consider, for example, that rare and estimable. They're not like home, not anymore. Not like they so were before. Still I'll squint and they're like, well, who knows? In any case, I assure you that your present misfortune will have no effect on my feelings for you or on your relationship with Melchior. <laughs> well, fine, not like it's even worth the time But still, you know, you wanted more Okay, so nothing changed that before You wanna laugh, there's two absurd You start to ask and hear a word You're gonna crash and burn Right, tell me more You start to hate, you start to cry You try to And most fondly yours, Fanny Gabor. Just funny, right enough, that's it. You'll still go on well for a bit. Another day of utter shit.
peers through the blinds Disappears in the gloom of the mirror blue night There's nowhere to hide from these bones from my mind It's broken inside, I'm a man and a child I'm at home with a ghost who got left in the cold I'm locked out of peace with no keys to my soul No matter where I am, I hear it beating. What? Not supposed to what? Love? I don't know, is there such a thing? I hear your heart. I feel you breathing. 
everywhere. The rain, the hay. Please, please, Vendor. I believe, I believe, I believe. Oh, I believe. It's just, it's... What? Sinful? No. I'll be forgiven. I, believe, I don't know. Why? I believe, I believe. Because it's good? Because it makes us feel something? Thank you.